Good morning, friends. I hope everybody had a fabulous weekend. Let's begin. Good morning, good morning. Hello and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's see what day it is. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Remember, these are the weekends, Saturday and Sunday. Yesterday was Sunday, but today is the beginning of a brand new week. It is, you guessed it, it is Monday. Monday starts with that mm, like mom, M. Okay, so it is Monday and it is May. It also starts with an M. And we need to see what color it is. Is it going to be a pink flower or a yellow flower? Pink, pink, yellow, yellow. Pink, pink, yellow, yellow. Pink, pink, yellow, yellow. Pink, pink, yellow, yellow. Pink, you guessed it, it is pink. I love pink, beautiful color. And you know what number that is? Number 18, a one and an eight. So this month is coming. <laughs> Gonna be over before we know it. Let's count to 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. It is Monday, May 18th, 2020. Monday is the day, Monday is the day. Hi ho the Dario, Monday is the day. Let's make it rain because it's really raining today for May is the month. May is the month, May is the month. Hi ho the Dario, May is the month. We better put our umbrellas up for the 18th is the date so we don't get wet. The 18th is the date, the 18th is the date. Hi ho the Dario, the 18th is the date. 2020 is the year, 2020 is the year. Hi ho the Dario, 2020 is the year. Okay, well, we might as well talk about the weather before we move on because I have something special for our message board today. But as we talked about, it is very, very rainy. My weather bear definitely needed his umbrella this morning. You know who else needed her umbrella? My daughter. She's working really hard to exercise and get walking in. And she decided she would go for a walk this morning and thought she could beat the rain or kind of get in between the bad rain. She was drenched. Luckily, she had her umbrella. But her dog was with her too. His name is Bubba. And he has curly hair. And when Bubba came back from his walk in the rain, his hair was so curly, it looked like he had a perm. Isn't that silly? So Lauren and Bubba went for a walk in the rain this morning. Sometimes it's fun to get out in the rain. All right, so what's the weather like today? Like today, like today. What's the weather like today? Today is rainy. We learned about that letter last week, R, rainy. Okay, as I said, we have something special for our message board. We have a new letter today, and our new letter is letter H. We're trying to get through as many as we can before the school year is done. So our new letter is letter H, and H says, can you do that? That's the sound H makes, like hat and horse. So we have a bunch of different pictures on my board. And if the picture begins with a 
H sound, then we are going to put a smiley face by the picture. If it does not belong, like, or it does not start with an H sound, then we're going to put an X. So let's see if we can begin and figure out what H words we can find. We have, oh, got to get my pen ready. We have helicopter. Does that start with H? It does. Helicopter. So we're going to put a smiley face. Here we go. What about j, j, jellyfish? Does that begin with H? J, j. Nope. That begins with J. So we're going to put an X. Nope. Mm -mm. What about k, k, crab? Nope. That begins with C, like cloud. K, k. Not H. We don't hear the sound. So we'll put an X. What about huh, huh, horse? Huh, huh, horse. Does that begin with H? Yes, it does. We'll put a smiley face here. There we go. We have two smiley huh, huh, helicopter and huh, huh, horse. They both start with H. Let's see on this side. We have t -t -t turtle. Turtle. Nope, that begins with T. That's a sea turtle. And it begins with t t t. So, no. What about hat? Hat. Yes, that begins with H. Hat begins with H. It starts with h. So, we'll put a smiley face there. And guess what? Miss Paula brought her daughter's hat in today so that I could. Wear a hat like that for our H day. Isn't that funny? All right. So now we have a uh, a uh, octopus. Does octopus begin with H? Nope. That begins with the letter O. And what about this word? <sighs> Help. <sighs> Help. Yes, it does. Oh, we forgot to put our X. Yes, it does. Help begins with H. You can see the H right there at the beginning. Now, I picked some of these things on there. You want me to leave my hat on for our story today? Since it's H day. Um, I picked some of these, some of these pictures because some of the pictures that we just looked at on our board have to do with our story today. We have different characters in our story. Let me grab them and I'll show you. There we go. In our story, we have a crab. That's one of the characters. We have a jellyfish. We have an octopus and a sea turtle and the reason I chose this story is because I thought it would be fun to do some ocean stories getting ready for the summer and the characters in the story have to help each other remember that word help starts with our H Help. And they're very good friends. We've also talked about how to be kind and to be a good friend. So I thought it was a good story for us today. I hope you enjoy. Let me grab it. It's called The Clumsy Crab by Ruth Galloway. She was the author and the illustrator. Nipper. The crab hated, there's another H word, hated his huge clumsy claws. Snip, snap, clip, clap, no matter how hard he tried, they always got in the way. He did not like his claws. Crab did not. None of his friends had clumsy claws. He wished he had tickly tentacles like octopus. 
or jellyfish, or he wished he had fins like turtle and fish. Mm -hmm. Fish was also in there. I could have made a picture of fish. Miss Paula forgot about fish. One day, Nipper was playing catch the bubble with his friends. Uh-oh, do you know what's going to happen when, when the crab tries to catch the bubble? Mm -hmm. You got it. It is going to <gasps> pop, pop. Oh my goodness, his clumsy claws burst the bubble and it popped. Not a good game for him. They couldn't play that game anymore, so they played tag instead. Nipper, Nipper scuttled off sideways, but one of his clumsy claws got in the way. He tried to hurry up and go with them, but his claw got in the way. He couldn't go as fast as his friends. Whoa, oh my goodness. Nipper slipped and stumbled, tipped and tumbled and fell. Oh no, guess what? He was buried up to his eyes in sand. Turtle came to dig him out. Oh, look at, Turtle is helping him. He's helping him. Wasn't that nice? What a good friend Turtle is. He says, I'll help you, crab. Everyone decided to play hide and seek. Nipper climbed into a big clamshell and pulled it shut. He got inside the clamshell, pulled it shut. Ooh, it was a perfect hiding spot until, you know what happened? Smash! Nipper's clumsy claws shattered the shell into hundreds of tiny pieces. Ouch, cried, cried, um, ouch, he cried, help! He needs help from a friend again. We all need help sometimes. Jellyfish picked up the pieces of shell. If I didn't have these clumsy claws, I wouldn't break everything. I'd be good at hide and seek, said Nipper. Don't worry, Nipper, said the others. We'll hide and you can find us. They are such kind friends. They said, don't worry, we'll find a way for you to be part of the game. That's very, very kind. So, jellyfish helped him this time. Nipper counted to 10, then set off to find his friends. He scuttled through the sand and found turtle. He shuffled under the shells and found jellyfish. So he found turtle, he found jellyfish. And he searched up and down, in and out and all around the rocks, but he couldn't find octopus anywhere. Where was octopus? Hmm. I don't know. Suddenly everyone heard a cry. Octopus was tangled up tightly in some seaweed. Help, help! There it is again. He needs some help from his friends. Octopus squirmed and, and squiggled and wiggled and jiggled. Turtle and shell, jellyfish tried to help, but the knots just got tighter and tighter. Nipper had an idea. This time Nipper could be the helper. The crab could be the helper. That would, be, that would make him feel so good to be able to do something for somebody else. Nipper snipped at the seaweed with his claws. Faster and faster, Nipper danced around the clump of seaweed, snipping and snapping and clipping and clapping. His claws are good for something. He, his claws moved quickly, slicing and dicing, shredding, and, and till the sea was filled with tiny pieces of swirling seaweed. So he cut it all up. His, his um, claws were kind of like little scissors. Octopus was finally free. Thank you, Nipper. You're a clever crab, he cheered. Nipper waved his claws happily. At last he knew how useful they could be, but his claws were good for something. And they all lived happily ever after. And the moral of this story is we are all special in our own way. We're all different. 
but we're all special and we need to appreciate our own unique qualities. My daughter likes to wear this hat when she dances and that's one of her special qualities. She likes to dance and put on shows and sing and dress up. Everybody's different. That's what makes the, makes the world wonderful. All right, let's sing a couple songs. I have one about old MacDonald had a farm and on his farm he had a horse. You ready? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a horse, E-I-E-I-O, with a nay nay here and a nay nay there, here and nay there, nay everywhere, nay nay, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and horse starts with letter H. Let's see if we can think of some of the other letters that some of the other animals start with. Oh, let me see. <gasps> Let's do the C -c cat. Cat starts with C -c C. Old MacDonald had a farm, E I E I O, and on his farm he had a cat, E I E I O, with a meow meow here and a meow meow there, here meow there meow everywhere meow meow. Old MacDonald had a farm, E I E I O, and on his farm he had a Duck, duck, dog. Dog starts with duck, duck, D. And on his farm, he had a dog, E-I-E-I-O, with a roof, roof here and a roof, roof there, here, roof, there, roof, everywhere, roof, roof. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. How about one more? How about we do a papa pig? Pig starts with papa. P like Miss Paula, Papa Pig. And on his farm he had a pig, E I E I O, with an oink oink here and oink oink there, here and oink there and oink everywhere and oink oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E I E I O. Nice job. All right, and I thought we'd do one more song before we go away. And it's called Rain Rain Go Away. Remember, at home, you can sing this song and you can put your name into it. Today, I think I will put my daughter Lauren's name into the song. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Little Lauren wants to play. Rain, rain, go away. How about we put Miss Paula's name in it? Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Little Paula wants to play. Rain, rain, go away. You can try that at home, putting your name into it. That would be fun. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed our story today and learning about our little new letter, which is letter H. And we will be back on Wednesday. So have a fabulous day, boys and girls. It is time to say goodbye to all our friends. It is time to say goodbye to all our friends. It is time to say goodbye. It is time to say goodbye. It is time to say goodbye to all our friends. Bye, friends, and I'll see you on Wednesday.